On the Ground, presented by The Cube. Here's your host, John Furrier. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Cube On The Ground. I'm John Furrier, the host of The Cube. We are here at the IBM Open uh, Architecture Computing Summit here in Seattle, the day after DockerCon. I'm here with Stormy Peters, Vice President of Developer Relations at Cloud Foundry. Nice to see you again. Good to see you, John. So Cloud Foundry, obviously all the rage um, with part of IBM, this is their event, but Cloud Foundry has a lot of different partners, but it's been really interesting. Blue Mix, um, based on Cloud Foundry, has been growing like crazy, and their community's going nuts over it. How is Cloud Foundry doing vis-a-vis -vis other developers, and what What's new with Cloud Foundry? Is anything updated? And obviously the success has been great. Give us the update. Yeah, so, so Cloud Foundry is growing really quickly, as you mentioned, both in, both within each of our provider companies like IBM Bluemix, um, as well as across the industry. And what I think is really exciting is we have like 63 member companies in the Cloud Foundry Foundation, and some of them are providers, but a lot of them are users. So we're seeing this open source ecosystem grow up around people using Cloud Foundry to manage their multi-cloud environments. So I was talking to Sam about, uh, about Cloud Foundry, and it's what's interesting is there's a lot of real developers you know, involved, senior open source guys, people have been around kind of my age, and then, you know, and now a younger generation is coming up. How has the Cloud Foundry uh, morphed uh, over the over the past couple of years in terms of enabling? Because IBM's leveraging it. Mm -hmm. People have put a little twist on it. That was kind of by design. Is that something that you guys see more and more of, kind of people using Cloud Foundry, building around it, and how does that affect the ecosystem uh, open source. So what I think is really interesting about Cloud Foundry as an open source software project is it's built on this pair programming model. And that's pretty new to the open source world. Pair programming is not new, but pair programming combined with open sources. Um, so we have what we call a dojo, um, which is a center. There's like an IBM dojo in Raleigh. There's dojos at different member companies. Um, and people go there to learn about Cloud Foundry. And they actually physically go for six weeks, and they sit next to someone all day when they're coding. And then when they graduate, they continue to pair like that. Um, so it's a, Two pairs of eyes on every piece of code. Um, a lot of mix within so the community. So kind of mentoring, but then they leave and they have that connection back. And they still pair with other people. So you might have an IBM person partnering with a Pivotal person or with an EMC person. Um, it, it's a terrific model. It really changes how open source software is written. And what's the biggest thing that surprised you with Cloud Foundry? If you look back and say, okay, where it is today, what's the big thing that has surprised you? I really like that all the user companies are joining. Like, it's really awesome to have a community that users are so excited about it, they're joining. And we're working with other foundations like OpenStack and others to make sure that there's standards and, and interoperability between the different cloud environments. So it's a truly multi-cloud solution. So what are you working on these days? What's your, what's your key task that you're, you're taking on? I'm focused on our developers, so making sure that we have a, a strong community of developers working on Cloud Foundry across all of our member companies. And other things in terms of technology, is there any new things involved in Cloud Foundry we should know about? Yeah, so we're working on um, different standardizations. So we're working, well, we're working with OpenStack to make because many of our partners they run, might run an OpenStack or AWS or Azure. So we're working very carefully with them to make sure that the whole stack works together from OpenStack all the way up to Cloud Foundry. And um, we're also working with like the Open Container Initiative to make sure that there's standards for containers so you can they interoperate well together. You know, kind of be open source <laughs> friendly world. Um, working mostly interoperability, um, and Bosch can now de deploy, install and deploy yeah. Cloud Foundry across all these environments on its own. So the question we got at DockerCon this <laughs> week was, where does Cloud Foundry fit into the Docker madness? Because it was basically a Docker parade all week here with DockerCon, great success there. <laughs> Cloud Foundry's in that world. Where does that fit in? Well, I kind of see peop users move um, so it used to be that you added more hardware when you wanted more computing power. And then you started adding more virtual environments, virtual machines when you wanted more computing power. And now kind of people are in the container mode, add more containers when you need more computing power. But you still have to manage those containers. So Docker is super popular, and you see Docker also expanding to help people manage their Docker containers. Cloud Foundry is, is helping people take those Docker containers and other containers and deploy them, manage them, scale them. Great. It's the entire platform. And for the folks that didn't make DockerCon, what's your big takeaway from DockerCon this year? I, I think that there's so many, so when we did a container report recently with Cloud Foundry, um, and we found half, half of all the people we surveyed, they weren't Cloud Foundry users, they were general <laughs> IT, half of them were considering using containers, um, but only a quarter of them had managed to deploy them in, in production yet. So people are very enthusiastic about it, but they're still looking for an entire solution like Cloud Foundry to manage it. And fi final question, what's going to, be the roadmap for Cloud Foundry the next year. What's the key things that you guys are working on with developers? 
So with developers, we're actually working on certification. So there's this huge need for companies to hire knowledgeable Cloud Foundry um, developers, and so we're working on the certification process and training. All of our training so far has been sold out, so there's <laughs> obviously a huge demand for it. <laughs> More training. Yeah. Stormy, thanks so much for stopping by on the ground here, appreciate it. Stormy Peters, VP of uh, Developer Relations at uh, Cloud Foundry. You're watching On the Ground, I'm John Furrier. Thanks for watching. Oh.